Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty bag. Look at this. This is made with three granny squares. Now my granny squares are 12 inches. 12 inches that way, 12 inches that way. I've done 15 rounds from the centre i done my centre, I'll show you how to do that, then i done 15 rounds with the yarn I had. Use any yarn you want and use the hook it tells you on the label of your yarn. That's all you need is three squares. Do it any size you want. You can even do it from this small size. This small size would still make one. All you do is you fold them. You need three to make the bag. So you can have little mini gift bags or you can have much larger shoulder or shopper bags. It's up to you. Whatever size you make your square, you need three squares all the same size. So I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful beautiful bag. So to do the squares that you need for this bag, you can make the squares any size you want. You can make them any size you want and you need three. You need three squares. Now I've done mine in this granny cluster. So I'm going to show you quickly how to start off a square to do this bag or even just to do granny squares. I'm going to do, I'm going to use a magic circle because it pulls in really tight in the centre. It pulls really tight in the centre. You can do a chain of three and then work your clusters into your chain of three. You do a chain of three and join it into a little circle. But I find a magic circle easier. Just put your yarn over the front of your hand and wrap it over to the back. Go under this one and pull this one through. Take your working yarn and do one stitch. Just one stitch. And then you can pull your little magic circle in So it's not so big. Now we're going to go into the magic circle. I'm going to chain another two. One, two. So those three stitches become my first and my granny cluster. I'm just going to call these clusters from now on. So that chain of three is my first stitch. And we need three stitches in each cluster. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet for you. And if you're in the UK, it's a treble crochet. It's the same stitch. It's just got a different name. So your chain three is the first stitch in your cluster. So yarn over and in to your magic circle again. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. That's the second stitch in my cluster. And you need three. So that's my first granny cluster done. I'm going to chain two. One, two. Now we need four clusters in the centre. So yarn over and do your next cluster. That's one, two and three. Chain two, one, two. Now the only time you'll do a chain two is in your corners. So one more, another cluster, we need four clusters. One, two and three. That's my next cluster done. So I've got three clusters done. One, two and three clusters. Chain two and do my last cluster inside this magic ring. One, Two, 
three. Now chain two, one, two. We're going to pull our magic ring tight. Pull that tight and see how it closes that space. I'm going to trim my tail a little bit. I don't need it quite that long. As long as you leave yourself enough to stitch in. Now into the top of that chain of three, count one, two and three stitches and we're going to slip stitch in to that chain and pull through a little slip stitch. So what you've got is a little square and you've got four corners. These chain spaces are your corners. You're going to chain three, one, two, three and turn. Now that's your first stitch of your first cluster. Into that chain space put two more stitches to make your first cluster. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to build our corners. Now into that same space put one more cluster. That's three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're going straight over to the next corner, over to this chain two space, skip over that cluster. We're going to put one cluster, two chain and one cluster into this corner here. One, two, and three. Now you're going to chain two, one, two, and into there put one more cluster. One, two, and three. Now this yarn is called Rockabilly and it's in ice yarns. It's an ice yarn and this one's called Rockabilly. Now straight over to the next corner and do your one cluster, two chain and one cluster. Now two chain, one and two. And your last cluster in this corner. Now go straight over to your last corner here. Now I don't put chains in between my clusters going along the way because once you've washed it a few times it gets really wide. So I don't, I only put the chain in the corner. So do one cluster, one, two, so that's one cluster is three stitches. Chain two, one, two, and Put your last cluster in, one, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch to close the circle, to close your square, into the top of this chain of three that we started with. Just pull through and pull through your stitch. Now we're going to be working into these spaces in between as well as the corners. So chain three, one, two, three and turn your work and that takes you straight to this space. We're going to put two more stitches in. We're going to build one cluster in the space. We'll do a corner, then we'll do a cluster in this space and then we'll build another corner all the way around. So into this space put two stitches and that'll make your first cluster. Now over to the corner we're going to build another corner. One cluster, two chain and one cluster all into this space. Now chain two and one more cluster into that corner. Now 
Now we're going over to this space here. And we're going to build a cluster in the space. So as your rounds grow, you'll have more spaces to fill in between your corners. So into the corner and do another corner. One cluster, two chain and one cluster. Now two chain and one more cluster. Now one cluster into this space, no chains in between. Just go straight into the space. And then do your next corner. One cluster, two chain and one cluster into the corner. So my two chain. And my next cluster to finish this corner. Now one cluster into the space in between, that's my last corner, so put one cluster in that space, one, two and three stitches all together and we're going to finish the last corner, one, two, three, so that's my cluster. Two chain and my next cluster and that's that last corner done. And we'll slip stitch to the chain of three on this cluster. Just slip stitch through. Go through the stitch. And pull through and this is your square is going to start growing so you're going to chain three one two three that's your first stitch remember turn your work and into the space so now we've got two spaces in between our corners so put two more stitches in there to do that cluster and then we'll move to the corner so build another corner, two cl one cluster, two chain and one cluster in the corner. Now chain two, one, two, the only time you'll chain two is in the corner. Put my next cluster in. And now we've got two spaces before we get to the next corner. So put one cluster in that space and one cluster into this space. And then do your corner. So we're going to put our clusters in between our corners, one into each space. So you're going into the space between the clusters and build your square. Now you'll do your square as big as you want it and you need three squares to make this bag. Now do your corner in this corner. All the way around. You can make three of these and you can actually make these tiny little mini gift bags because you'll turn it that way. You'll put a triangle in here 
and your other one. So you can make very small bags or you can make them huge. It's up to you. So you'll see now that you've got three spaces in between your corners and that's how your square will grow. Count one, two, three and turn around and straight into that space put two more stitches. And you'll do that until your square is as big as you want. So one cluster in the space, then you're at a corner, one cluster, two chain, and one cluster. You put one cluster here, one cluster here, one cluster here, and then make another corner. One cluster, two chain, and one cluster into that space. And you'll make your square as big as you want it. Now these are the size of my squares. My squares are 12 inches by 12 inches. Mine are 12 by 12. And for this thinner yarn, I've got 15 rounds. I've done my center and then I've done 15 rounds. And I've got three. One, two, and three. Three squares. So I've made myself a strap. Make a chain to the length that you want your strap to be. I'll show you how to make the strap for this. So I'm going to do a sample. I'm not going to do a great big long strap. Now you'll do your chain in sets of three and sets of three to it's the length that you want your strap to be. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's long enough for a sample. I'm going to add an extra stitch. Now into the fourth stitch, count one, two, three, four. And we're going to put two more UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. I'm going to put a cluster in to that stitch. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and put another cluster in there. One, two, and three. Now I've made myself a corner. I've made a corner in that stitch. Skip two, one, two, and do one cluster into the next stitch. One, two, and three. Skip two, one, two, and put another, cus another cluster all the way along. One, two, Skip two, one, two, and do one more cluster. Do that all the way along your length of the strap that you need. So I'm on the last cluster along. Now this is just a sample. This is just a sample. You'll do yours to the length that you want your strap to be. So I've got three stitches left and I'm going to build a corner in the last stitch. I'm going to put one cluster into this last stitch. So that's one, 
two and three. I'm going to chain two, one, two. Now into the same stitch, put one more cluster. I'm building a corner in this last stitch. Two and three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the space. We're going to work down your length. So I'm going to move into the space and put one cluster in that space. I'm going to pull my little tail end in as well. So into the next space I'm going to put a cluster all the way along. One cluster into these spaces. to trim the tail end so in the spaces in between your clusters I'm going to make another cluster you'll do that all along the length of your strap so these are the chain two spaces that we skipped we skipped two chains when we did this cluster on this side and this is where we're putting these clusters in the space. I'll put my last one in. And into that chain of three that we started with, I'm going to slip stitch. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn my work around. Now I'm going back into that space. We're going to put a cluster into each of the spaces along, and then we'll put two corners in at the end. I'll show you that. So we're going to leave this corner just now. That's my corner there. So into that space, put two more stitches. To build a cluster. One and two. Into the space put another cluster all along. Now I done two rows at each side of my chain and that's big enough and I've got my corner here and I'll show you how to fix the corner to keep it straight. That's going to get sewed onto your bag. So I'm near the end. I've got a space here. I'm going to put one cluster into that space. Now this was my corner. This was the one on the end. In here where this chain two space is, we're going to put two corners. So I'm going to put one cluster first, put one cluster in. One, two and three. I'm going to chain two, one, two. And back in there, I'm going to put another cluster. So that's me done one corner. You can make these straps as wide as you want. So what I'm going to do is in the same chain space, I'm going to do another corner. So put another cluster. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and put one more cluster in. So that's me got two corners in this end. So if you want to make a big wide strap then you'll have your corners to work in to each corner. So one into each space all the way along to the other side. So I'm at this corner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one cluster into this chain of two chain two one two 
chain two, one, two, and into that cluster, into that chain space, one more cluster. So that's my first corner of this side done. So into that same space, put one more cluster, one, that's three stitches, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. I'm going to build my last corner to keep my edges straight. So I've got my two corners on this side and that keeps your strap straight. If you want to do another round, you can do another round and you'll put a corner in here, you'll put a cluster in the middle of these two clusters and a corner in here and then continue until your strap is as wide as you want it to be. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top my chain of three and that will finish this round. So in here you've got a corner and on there you've got two chains there. So you've got two clusters in the middle. If you want to do another round you'll put one cluster in between these clusters and then your corners into the chains of two. And that's how you do the strap. That's just a little sample. But this is my big long strap. I only done two rounds on each side. And I've got my corners here. So I've got my crochet hook. And my yarn. I've got some little stitch markers. Now that's my strap. We don't need that at the moment. I'll pop that aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build this bag. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold our squares. Just fold them into a triangle. So that's going to be that side. That's going to be that side. And this one is going to be in the middle like this in the middle now I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to go to this corner you've got a corner here and I'm going to put it in the pin and the same with this corner because we're going to crochet up the edge now take the top corner of this one and this one so that's my corner and that's my corner put them together so you've still got the other part of the bag down there so through the corners that keeps your edge nice and straight now I'm going to pick up the corner from this one and pop it on to there as well and then the two corners down here, I've got this corner. And I'm going to attach it to that corner. Just like this. And if you're a beginner, this helps to keep it correct. Now these are the two edges that I'm going to crochet up. I'm going to crochet up to this point and then crochet down. And then I'll turn my bag around, I'll turn it all around and what I'll do is I will crochet up this side and down this side. So I've got one more pen, I've got another pin and I'm going to pin these three corners together. Make sure they're not twisted. Make sure your edge isn't twisted. So we will crochet up one side and down the other, then flip the bag over and do the other two seams. 
and that is your bag sewed together that'll be it all crocheted together so i've got my yarn and i'm going to start at the top i'm going to crochet down i'm going to flip my bag over and i'm going to crochet up that way and then i will crochet down that seam and then i should finish coming up this way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to catch these three corners on my hook and take my pin out a little bit fiddly take the pin out leave myself enough yarn to sew in and I'm going to pull that through those three corners I'll bring this down a bit so I've caught those three corners, one, two, and three. Just pull the tail in as well, do my first stitch. And I'm going to chain one. Keep my tail out of the way. Now I'm going to take these two and I'm going to crochet down to this pin down here. Through the stitches I'll leave that there and I'm going to sew that in so I'm going to go through these two stitch first stitch and do a double crochet just go through each one they'll line yourself up we're going through the V parts of the stitches do a double crochet you can do a slip stitch if you want but I'm adding to the pattern and I'm doing a UK double crochet this is a single crochet if you're in the USA one into each stitch just to bring these two parts together Make sure I get the stitches that are in the chain. I'm going to take that pin out, put two in the chain, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip my bag and work down this side to that peg. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what to do next. And then we'll just give it a little turn around to keep it all in that right shape and we will sew down this side and then up the back and that will sew that one to both of these at the front and at the back. There we go. Now what we did we pinned the corners together of that square and we sewed down the joint we flipped the bag over and sewed up to this point on the back where all the corners met and then we sewed down this side flipped it back over and oops I've got a caught one there and we sewed up we stitched up there crocheted up the side and that is your little bag done you can make it any size you want now I've got a darning needle here got a darning needle I'm going to just open up the end now this is the outside so I'm going to stitch my bag on the inside just take it about an inch 
inside your bag and the first thing I'm going to stitch up here and down here so I'm just going to stitch it in I'll leave enough room to sew in my end stitch my handle in So that nice little point is showing. Have your corner in line with the middle of your strap. And I'm just stitching through. I'm not going through the stitch. I want that for decoration. I'm just going right through to the other side. And just stitch that in. down this side and I'm going right through to the other side of my bag stitch that in I'll go to the other side and I'll stitch there as well just to make it stronger to go through to this other side this is the inside of the bag and I'm just going to catch the stitches and sew it along just so it's nice and secure so if you've got anything in your bag your strap's going to hold nice and tight And then I'm going to tie these off. Couple of knots. And that will help to secure it. And that is my bag all done move all my things out of the way make sure my straps not twisted it's not twisted and there you go that's your straps sewed in and it makes that nice little point in your bag now it's up to you what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie this in tie these ends Motley barking or somebody at my door. You can just sew those in to make them disappear. And there you go. And that is your bag all done. Super easy. Made with three squares. You can do your squares any stitch you want. You can do them any stitch you want. So the first one, you fold this way into a triangle. And the same with that. And your third one joins them together. So it's a really pretty bag. And it's quite big actually just for a 12 inch square. Three 12 inch granny squares. Make your granny squares any size you want them to be. Make your strap any length you want it to be. And it'll make this really pretty bag. This is a beautiful bag to do for gifts for Christmas. If you want to do this for a Christmas gift, absolutely brilliant. And it's so quick and easy to do. Just remember, sew down your two sides, flip it over and sew up. Then you'll sew down that side and up there. And I used my crochet hook and I just done a UK double crochet. That's a USA single crochet. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It's completely free to subscribe. I don't get paid for it. What it does, it just helps my videos to be seen more often on YouTube with the higher subscriber count. That's all it is, is moral support. Moral support. And it's free to subscribe. 
and also if you click on the bell icon then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.